Unido has completed its 50 years of existence in Pakistan with the collaboration of the government. Created in 1966 as a special organ of the United Nations General Assembly, it started its functioning in Pakistan 50 years ago, promoting SMEs, entrepreneurship, fostering nationwide industrial development, productivity enhancement, particularly to accelerate inclusive and sustainable development. Currently, UNIDO Pakistan is engaged in several industry, environment, economics, food agriculture, and trade-related projects covering climate change mitigation and adaptation. Owing to serious energy crisis prevailing in the country, UNIDO Pakistan is undertaking the projects to promote renewable energy and energy efficiency technologies in Pakistan. Drawing funding from Global Environmental Facility, these projects are particularly introducing rice husk-based gasification power plants in the rice-producing areas, biomass combustion power plants, and solar PV plants. In order to generate cheap and uninterrupted electricity with great potential for carbon emission reduction, The project is being implemented in collaboration with the public sector organizations including the Ministry of Climate Change, Alternative Energy Development Board, Small Medium Enterprise Development Authority, and National Productivity Organization. Under the umbrella of Leaving No One Behind, a series of intensive training were organized in major industrial areas of Pakistan to enhance the national capacity of professionals in the energy field relevant to the industries utilizing expertise of international professional trainers. UNIDO has trained over 400 plus professionals through training for enterprises key personnel to better understand the values of investing without delay in renewable and efficient energy. UNIDO conducted Certified Energy Auditor Certified Energy Manager Expert training on financing for energy efficiency and renewable energy technology-based projects in industry. Vendor training on market potential and business opportunities for double E and RE technologies. Double E and RE awareness raising sessions for top managers. Energy management system implementation training. Training of trainers for energy auditors and energy managers. In continuation of this capacity building program, UNIDO recently organized a training on expert training on expert systems and user training on energy conservation and efficiency for technical industrial workforce. With exciting feedback and participation from different stakeholders, creating a larger impact on industrial sector. These trainings were focused on facility engineers operators, maintenance staff of enterprises, equipment vendors, and service providers. The user training on energy conservation and efficiency for technical workforce was designed to teach how to assess systems, identify potential improvement opportunities, and achieve cost saving through proper operation and controls, system maintenance, and appropriate use of provided energy services. The main objective behind this training is to also provide professionals with the basic knowledge, understanding and tools needed to initiate the development and implementation of an energy management system. I'm glad that UNIDO invited me on this training on sustainable energy initiatives for industries in Pakistan. Through this in, uh, training, I got to learn so many initiatives that we can implement in other organizations to conserve energy. This is a very important uh, training from energy conservation point of view. Actually, energy conservation is a very uh, dire need of the country, especially at textile mills. This training session will help us developing a mindset, a mind approach, a mental approach 
saving our resources and think what we are passing over to our generations. It's been quite an extensive course because it has covered the basics as well as the uh, intricacies of uh, diary system. There are, there are a lot of takeaways from this uh, energy management training but uh, the main thing is that we have learned how to implement an energy management system. That was a new thing for us. First of all, the energy introductions is not aware in the, in the industries in Pakistan. What is energy? The people of industries do not know what is how to conserve energy. The participants attained a good understanding of the key elements of an energy management system aligned with the ISO 50001, including policy, role and responsibilities, energy planning, implementation and operation, performance checking, and management review.